Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Captain George Brown. I'm owner and operator of Texas Blue Water Spearfishing, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a secret recipe how I make boneless stuffed whole flounder. Okay, first step is to remove the bones in the collars right here on both sides. Color on the other side, same thing. Put the bone in there. Cut and pull. All right, and then I should start by saying this is a gutted flounder, and it's already been descaled. Um, there's a little remnants of the guts that I'm going to remove now. But once the gut cavity is nice and cleaned out, you're going to want to cut in here, and we're going to basically flay it off the rib cage internally sticking the knife through here and cutting towards these fins on the sides of its body. But I'll show you that right now. All right, so I'm feeling the spine right here, the start of all the ribs. I'm gonna go ahead and take my long pointy fillet knife and I'm gonna go on the top side of it to start in. This is where you're gonna see the knife. We're gonna to wanna to angle this thing down and fillet the meat internally off the rib cage. So right here, you can see the knife over here, cutting. You wanna be really careful not to cut through the outside of the body if you wanna keep it whole. All right, so I'm doing the same thing now on this other side and see how the knife is Inside, right here, I'm doing small little sawing motions. I'm trying to just separate that fillet off the ribs internally. And then again, guys, I'm feeling the ribs right here, the start of all the ribs. I'm gonna go on top of the, well, this is the bottom of the fish, but it's flipped over, so on top, and then you can see the knife right here. I'm angling it down into the ribs and doing small sawing motions to separate it off the ribs. Okay, now I'm doing the same thing in the other direction. This is going to be the fourth time. I'm doing both sides and half by half, so they're kind of like quadrants, I guess but just see the knife in there. And I'm just using it to cut away the ribs. So at this point, guys, I can get my hand in here and on both sides of the ribs. And what I need to do is I need to take the knife and I need to really try to separate as much as possible. This um, next step, you have to have kitchen shears. It's crucial, but we're gonna basically cut along the ribs, through the ribs, along the spine on both sides. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll go back in in a second and we'll trim it up perfect. But you're gonna wanna cut internally. Cut the ribs like this. As far as you can reach. And then I'm gonna need to do on the other side of the spine. Through the spine. We cut through the spine right behind the head and now we're cutting along the ribs on the other side as well. Okay. Okay, now with the spine cut as far as we can on both sides, we're gonna push from the tail and pull from the spine and basically try to Turn this whole fish inside out like a sock. Oops. Okay. So I've gotten this fish completely turned around now inside out. And these are gonna be the remaining ribs that we're gonna need to just give it a quick trim. This is the base of the tail and what's up to the spine. And again, the remaining ribs on the other side.
Okay, so you should see really nice looking flounder meat on both sides. You wanna trim these bones on both sides as far back as you can. Um, and you also wanna trim that excess meat that's around the gut cavity like that. That's not gonna be good stuff to eat, so you wanna get rid of that. And then once you're done there, you're gonna just flip this fish back right side out like a sock. And you have a whole flounder that is completely deboned. All right, guys, at this point, it's time to make your stuffing. So I saute uh, bacon for a few minutes until it's a little brown. And then I add celery, garlic, a little bit of jalapeno. Um, then at this point, I added some coarse breadcrumbs that I toasted and added butter to. And I'm going to fill up this flounder. I'm going to stuff it all in there. Um, so here's my stuffing again, another view of it, another view of the coarse breadcrumbs that are toasted, just a little bit of butter added to them. And I'm going to open up this flounder. It's uncooked. I did season both sides with paprika, garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to stuff it in there. I'm using this big spoon as a kind of a stuffer. It's all in there now. The stuffing has been lightly sauteed. The bacon's been cooked for fully. The celery has been cooked until it's a little softened, but still kind of got a crunch to it, and I've stuffed it. I've oiled my cooking sheet, and I've heated up the oven to 350 degrees. I'm throwing my flounder in there, and what worked for me, this was about a 16-inch flounder. I cooked it for about 45 minutes, guys. The eyes, you can kind of tell they turn white. The meat right there is white. About halfway through, I thought the skin was looking a little dry, so I added some limes to it, and it came out perfect. There's a shot of my dog, Rika, there, my beloved Basset Hound, and thank you guys very much uh, for watching. Please consider subscribing, like, and subscribe to the channel for more content, and thanks again. Happy spearfishing and fishing from Texas.